For this uh, exercise for the ACP, we uh, planned a uh, air movement uh, with the CH-47s and we uh, moved over to a different location uh, other than being at this same location as the main command post. We had to uh, move out with only what we could carry on our backs for communication uh, for class one uh, and, and any of the other classes and then we had to set up a uh, command post. We're getting some of the, this headquarters back into a tactical mindset uh, to be able to uh, move out without support and uh, be able to set up in a uh, austere environment anywhere to be able to uh, take over the fight. So CTAF, AF, is the Army Operational Headquarters. We're subordinate to uh, U.S. Army Europe and Africa. Uh, and we focus on Army land operations uh, in the continent of Africa. So the 53 African nations that uh, comprise the AFRICOM area of responsibility uh, are the countries that we look at every day. And at our mission will range from crisis response, um, theater security cooperation, training, exercises, partner building partner capacity, all those things that a, the Army normally does in different areas, we're responsible for that on the African continent. So we're here at Hohenfels training area in Germany, supporting exercise uh, Sabre Junction 22, which is a uh, combat training center rotation for the 173rd Airborne Brigade as a primary training audience uh, with some supporting units, 18th Combat Support Battalion and the 12th Combat Aviation Brigade. And CTAF AF is here to serve as the division headquarters over the top of the exercise, also called the high control, high con. Uh, so we've been working on that for a little over a week and today we replicated deployment of our assault command post which is a small light rapidly deployable command post that moves uh, light with full communications and, and computing capability and what we did today was replicated moving forward uh, as a survivability move so we did a air mo movement using CH-47 helicopters uh, moved about 40 kilometers and then set up our operations here at the Amberg Training Center uh, where we could then take the fight forward and, and fight as the division headquarters for a period of the fight as the brigades are in the defense. For, for, for CTAF AF and the Assault Command Post, one of the important pieces are this is our first command and control capability that we maintain on, as deployment ready. So if there's a crisis in Africa, if there's a humanitarian disaster we need to respond to or some type of security situation in Africa, or in Europe for that matter, uh, this, this team is the first that would be prepared to go. So this is a great opportunity for us to, to test our systems, test our, our communications ability with a live training audience below us to send reports and to interact with. Um, so it, it was a great opportunity for us to do that. Importance, uh, obviously we'll continue to work through these. We identified a couple of challenges today and we will go back, reset, figure out how to solve those problems and we'll get back to doing training again soon uh, and do this again probably back in Italy at home station. Uh, today is to see our new teammates uh, get integrated into what we do to pick up what their roles and responsibilities are and to help us solve the problems that we that we would face. Um, it, the agility of this team is always excellent and so seeing them work through this problem uh, I, and then self-identify where we make mistakes and how we need to fix that in the future you know, one of the great things about being part of a learning organization is we're constantly getting better. And so coming out here today to validate where we're at and then figure out how to fix it and have a plan to fix it, it's always great to be part of a team that's, that's that good. So, you know, as a, senior, as a senior officer, someone who's been doing this for, you know, a long time, it's always a fun experience to see the excitement in some of our younger soldiers' eyes the first time they ever get on a helicopter, the first time they get to do something like this. Um, the, the excitement, sometimes the apprehension, but people work through their challenges to, uh, to get after the training. You know, it's not terribly hot, but it was still, we road marched it. We, you know, after we got the helicopter, we walked. Uh, pretty heavy loads, because moving communications equipment is not easy, it's heavy, and we do it all on our backs. We don't have vehicle support uh, out here with us. But seeing all those teammates really throw in to, to help accomplish the mission, and work through things that they've never done in their career before, it's always rewarding uh, to see the, the team react and, uh, and, and come together to get those missions accomplished. 
it's interesting. One of the things about being a good soldier, a good non-commissioned officer, a good officer is flexibility and agility. And, and in, a, in a team like the Assault Command Post team that's small, but has to be able to carry the weight of a much larger staff for a period of time. That means people have to multitask. People have to be really good at things that aren't their day job. And so we have a logistics non-commissioned officer that has one specialty, but he's replicate or not replicating, but he covers all of our logistics requirements. Our primary communications soldier is not a communicator by trade. He's actually a combat cameraman, but he is self-taught and learned to install our satellite communication systems and radios, and he's excellent at it. So he's able to pick that up on the side. Everybody in, in a small team has to carry their weight from me on down. And it's always rewarding to see soldiers rise to that task to go work outside of what they're trained to do and be excited uh, to be part of that and then to be able to actually uh, to learn and contribute immediately. And it's not a long learning curve for our soldiers. The important things about this is, again, it was the opportunity to work with uh, some subordinate units to help stimulate and drive the training we're doing. But also in our main and, and in the field, we have a great allied uh, component that's participating in this exercise. Uh, CTAF, as we focus on Africa and our African partners, we don't get the opportunity to work with our NATO allies very often. So this has been a great opportunity for us to give us lessons learned and help us develop skills and, and things that we can take back and apply to our day job, focusing on Africa on behalf of U.S. Army Europe and Africa and U.S. AFRICOM that we can take to our partners on the continent and, our, and those that we work with to help make them better and help continue to make ourselves better.